I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Okay guys, first things first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with our strawberry jello. I'm gonna open it up. Add it into our container here, the whole bag. We're going to add in our sugar as well. Half a cup of sugar. And we're going to need a half a cup of water. Warm water. Warm water. Put our warm water in here. And we're going to whisk. Whisk away, whisk away. Okay guys, so next now, now that all of this is mixed in together, what we're gonna do, we're going to pop it in the microwave for two minutes. This should look like this once you take it out of the microwave. We wanna stir this around a little bit because we're gonna add in our marshmallows. All right, guys, I'm just gonna stir this around. Matter of fact, I think I'll whisk it a little more. Okay, just a little bit. Then next, we're gonna add in our marshmallows. Pour in our marshmallows. And scoop all of this around like this. Make sure all our marshmallows are covered. start to come together like this and then what we're going to do back to the microwave for about another minute guys and it should look like this all have come together so you just want to take it and just mix it up some more then mix it mix it mix it mix it until all our marshmallows have dissolved. And then we're going to pour it in our container and we're gonna do the other one. We're gonna do the lemon, okay? So we're gonna set this, we're gonna do this one first and then I'm going to set it into the refrigerator for maybe 20 minutes to start off with and then I'll do the green one, okay? We'll let them both chill together Have a few more to break down. Okay, now that 
All of our marshmallows have dissolved. Next, what we're going to do, baby, is set that there. And I'm gonna bring over my, my baking container, okay? I have that sitting in there to hold the paper down. It's easier to take out if you put parchment paper down, okay? Then you can just take the whole loaf out, okay? So, next what I'm gonna do is pour this in here like so. Put this like this. Now we let this sit in the refrigerator. And let this sit in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, okay? Then we're gonna start on the other. Okay guys, I'll be right back when we start for the green one. Okay, time for the green one. Now we're gonna let that one sit in there and you know start letting it chill a little bit for maybe a half an hour. We'll do 30 minutes, okay, before adding in the next one. But I can set this one up. This is my pack of the green which is the lime flavor. And we're going to need a cup and a half marshmallows. Mm -mm. And we also need a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. I'll be back. Okay, it's been a half an hour. Warm water. Just take in our first uh, first level out, and it is ready for the second top. Okay, that's all 
bottom layer. This is our top layer of kandi. Just gonna mix this up around. Okay guys, finally the candy is ready. I actually kind of forgotten about it a little bit. So it's been in my refrigerator for about, about a day or so, okay? So now I'm finding that it's difficult to take away from the parchment paper. I'm thinking maybe I should have put the, uh, and it's just the top part, see look. It's just the top part that's, that's more stickier. Well, I guess it all is kind of sticky. This. I don't know I just either I didn't do it the right way but it's supposed to be jello jello marshmallow candy okay so we all know that marshmallow is sticky so pretty much what I'm doing is taking a butter knife and dipping it into cold water to help pull it away from the parchment paper maybe I used the wrong kind of paper when I uh, you know when I first Started off. Maybe I should have used the uh, the uh, the plastic. Oh, I can't think right now. But because this is really sticky, icky. Well, that's what marshmallows are. Marshmallows. Once you heat them up, they um, you know they're sticky. Unless you eat them freshly out of the bag and then chewing it still has that sticky substance. So, once I get all of this pulled away, then I'll be able to see. But yeah, I don't think I'll be making this again. This is not really recommended unless I didn't do it the right way. Okay? Follow up the instructions. Let's try something different for the holiday season. You know. And it's really good. The flavors I have, I have either cherry or strawberry and but now I don't know what to stick it to once I take it off of here. Okay, see how the different colors, the darker at the bottom. I'm thinking maybe once it's done, I could maybe stick it in some, I don't know, I don't know what to roll it on. Something has to Something has to give, okay? Okay, guys, so once I figure this out, I will let you know, okay? Because this is not what I thought it was gonna be like. See, it's, it's easy coming up off of the bottom, you know, but, hmm. 
I need to roll it into something so that the stickiness won't be on the outside. It'll just be on the inside. Okay, guys, give me a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, now I'm back. So I came up with this idea, okay, to cut it, okay, because it's, it's supposed to be candy, so you want to cut it into small pieces. Okay, but here's the deal. You have to make sure you have a cup of water, a butter knife, and you just want to cut it. I already cut it one way, so I'm going to cut it the other way. When you put the water on it, the water helps it to go through without sticking as much onto your, um, your, your, your knife, okay? So now... What I'm going to do okay I want to show you what it looks like on the inside if I can get it peeled off of the paper come on gotta use water okay if you don't use water then it's totally gonna stick it's gonna stick to you for some reason the top part is the stickiest which I don't get. Okay, so what I've decided to do, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty, I haven't tasted, well I've tasted as I was cooking, but as far as biting into this, no, I have not yet done that. So what I've decided to do is just take it and just dip it into uh, some other candy to help kinda, kinda put a coating over it. You know, put a, a certain type of coating that that might work. And I'm going to set that in there like that. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep cutting it up. And, but you know, but using the water, using water on it might be okay as well. So I'm going to see. I'm just going to play around with this. This is my first time making this. And I was curious as to see how this would turn out. Now, I don't like marshmallows, but I know that my son and my niece, my niece and nephew, my, well, it's my son and my grandniece, and grand nephew, I'm sure they love marshmallows and would love this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use water as my base. But I feel like I need to candy coat it with something else so that it doesn't stick on to everything, everybody. And I wanted to show you guys my process of making this work. First time making this, I actually went to a Christmas gathering and someone had something like this. And the lady who, who well, she didn't make it, but she knew the person who made it and said, said that it was a Jell-O uh, Jell marshmallow candy. And I didn't taste it, which I probably should have tasted, you know, before deciding to make it. It just looked really simple and easy. And, Look like it would taste good. Okay, so I pull this off. This is just, it's just because the marshmallow is so sticky, okay? But you gotta make sure that you keep your, uh, keep whatever it is you're cutting with. I'm just using a butter knife. And that you gotta keep it wet, okay? So it's, I feel like that's the key. making it easier. I don't know if I'm making them too big in too big of a chunk. But it looks good, huh? You know, I think I'm gonna try this piece. Oh mm, this is really good. Mmm, okay. Tastes like jello, especially in the middle. It's only gooey on top. Hmm. Okay. I can work with this. This is good, but I think I need to cut it into smaller pieces because I'm only halfway through. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
two of them, guys. Sorry. Once it has a little water on it, it's fine. Now for how long? It'll stay like that, I'm not sure. But don't they look really pretty? Uh-oh. This looks really pretty, and this is really good, guys. This is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised. And this one, yeah, that's the one that I put the candy on because I wanted to, I felt as though that it needed something, some type of substance so that it wouldn't stick onto everything. But once you just wet it down with a little water, you're fine. You're good to go. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna get all of this cut up for you so you can see. And I'll be right back. Gonna take me a minute now. Jello marshmallow candy and my uh, me and my niece made some made some uh, some cupcakes and kind of decorated them. I thought I'd share them with you guys. Now this this candy is uh, it's really good. Now you have to keep it refrigerated and it's really sticky. And uh, yeah, it would be good for like a dinner party where you don't have to try to consume it all or just maybe eat a couple pieces or something to that effect. Okay guys, if you enjoyed yourself for me today and if you like I do what I do, when I do what I do, subscribe to my channel. Don't just watch, subscribe please. And until next time, bye.